today we're going to I'm going to show you on the configuration for the certificate authentication let's check the settings of the Windows machine go to the change adapter settings okay and go to the admin administrator and make it sure the authentication tab is enabled okay so this time I'll put user authentication then additional settings user authentication then make it sure the uh, certificate is selected apabustan-util.ca and click OK so now it will authenticate let's check the Cisco ICE logs So there, Jan Fabustan. Uh, let's check the details of these logs. So authentication succeeded. This user. So I'm using um, Word cert authentication. These are the profile. This is the authentic authentication profile and i'm using pip iptls authentication and that one x okay so we can see here um word 5 x509 word cert uh, security group is contractor tls version one then let's check the tag VLAN. I tag VLAN 12 because I'm using a dynamic VLAN. So the contractor and the employee, they will get different VLAN for your segmentation. Let's check the right side logs. This log, it will give you details what's happening. We can see here TLS authentication, TLS handshake. Okay, so looks good so let's try this one let's try another thing let's check the IP address I was expecting to receive a, a contractor VLAN IP config slash all so it should be 10.128.12 10.128.12 Two, yeah, correct. That two third octet is VLAN. That two. This is the MAC address. So yeah, correct MAC address. Okay. Let's try to log off and use other user user that member of the employee join this member of the contractor let's try to use a employee user which is rnl user okay the disadvantage of um, uh, native uh, that one x authentication while the machine is logging or starting or log off login it will the authentication will deny your authentication so the workaround here is you need to if you're using a physical the uh, hardware you need to unplug and unplug your wired connection and plug it again or you modify the modify the settings of the interface. So here we can see Arnold Fabustan. No, this is uh, this is not the one. This is BYOD. This is my wireless authentication because I have BYOD here also. Um, and the MAC address is different from the machine, so this is that is not the logs that we're looking for. So let's check this one. Let's have a look. 
details are uh, still showing this is the MAC address and showing the old IP address of John so let's try to modify the settings so it will kick the authentication so I will do some check over here okay the settings are correct so I'll put I'll put a minor change so it will kick the authentication authentic see it will authenticate that is the disadvantage of the native um, native uh, authentication you should the workaround here you can unplug or plug your the from the wired or you can install the Cisco AnyConnect for wired authentication so here we can see the Harnal Pawustan MAC address uh, it, it authenticate to wired and the profile is employee and we can see here that one X and if TLS authentication so it's showing employee profile so the profile will be um, employee so different VLAN so security group is employee and tagging VLAN 11 for, for that is for the dynamic VLAN so let's check the IP address if config is less all so I'm getting 10.28.1 that so that is my employee VLAN which is working fine okay so let's try to test the wireless I already set up the configuration of the wireless before okay let's uh, I'm using training Tech Labs uh, SSID. Let's check the configuration. I think I I disable the wireless. Let's check first the logs. We can, if we can see anything, so latest is wired. So it went to default. So let me enable the previous. Um, wireless config that I enabled. I'm also using uh, TLS authentication here. Authentication X509 out. I'm using certificate. So from here I have a wireless employee and I have a result for employee and for the contractor. Same concept on the uh, wired. See? Wireless is working fine using uh, TLS authentication so I got the correct VLAN for the em employee let's check the logs so we can see here Arnold Pabustan wireless TLS authentication You can see here wireless X509 authentication, wireless employee, authentication succeeded, and I'm using IPTLS, that one X. Uh, I'm using the wireless controller, is that IP, and uh, wireless X509 authentication fast. And we can see here the group is employee, security group, and we can see here the tagging of the VLAN, it's VLAN 11. And we're using base license for authentication. So at the right side, here are the details for if you want more deep um, uh, logs details, it will show all this here. TLS handshake succeeded. That means our certificate authentication is working fine. TLS. Uh, Okay, TLS is cool. So um, I hope uh, you enjoy this video. Um, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, expect more videos to come. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.